Much needed repairs have started on the bridge on Beachview Drive in Gulf Park Estates. Maya Turner shows us the impact this has had on businesses right next to the construction. As of Friday, construction has begun to make repairs to the Beachview Bridge. And while those repairs are necessary, owners of both Funky Monkey and the Bayou say that the closure is causing a heavy decline in traffic to their establishments. Well, as you can see, it, it cut us off from the everything south of this bridge, Gulf Park Estates, you know, uh, it pretty much cut us off from it. Anybody that comes here has to come all the way around back to spring or whatever and to come back down this way. It's, it's made a, you know, it's, it's made a, a negative impact on us for sure. Just lack of business. I mean, you know, we, we made 48 bucks one day, you know, yeah, so that hurts. That hurts when they, the bills don't stop, you know. Funky Monkey co-owner William Eisworth says even with the detour, he and his wife are thankful for the people who will still go out of their way to support them. It's the biggest fishing time of the year is the, the, the biggest part. I mean, this is when people are really fishing. And, um, but I will say this, these guys who have been working here have been buying lunch for us, um, from us, and, and, and doing a lot of business with us, and we're grateful for that. I hope they continue, you know. Eisworth says to try and ease the burden of a detour, they will boat food and bait across the water to the boat ramp or to the dock if you call ahead. Now, Bobby Hammond, owner of the Bayou, says he wishes they had more of a notice before the closure and the decline in traffic is costing him staff members. Uh, we're going to have to believe let about half the staff go. Generally employ about 15 people. We're going to have to cut back on entertainment. Yeah, we have bands on Saturdays. I'm probably going to get rid of that all together. Hammond also says that October through December is when he makes the money to keep the doors open for January and February. And even with cruising the coast in town, the numbers were nowhere near what they were in the past years. Now, both owners understand the need for a safer bridge. They just hoped for more prep time. And Hammond says closing one of the two arteries to exit the neighborhood during hurricane season was not ideal. District Supervisor Randy Bosarge says funding for the bridge is from tax dollars used for bridge work. However, they are still working to create a plan to get the four to five million dollars needed to completely replace the bridge. Alongside photojournalist Michael Rogers, I'm Maya Turner for WOX News Now.